In this tutorial for new Blender users, we'll take a look at uh, Dynamic Paint. It's powerful and it's easy to use. And I'm using uh, version 2.63a. So let's see what we need. Let's get rid of this icosphere that I have in the scene right now. We're going to add a just a plane to the scene. Now where is he? He's up there. We're all going to hit press shift S, put the cursor to the center, press shift S, and put the selection to the cursor. So I've moved it back to the center that way in case sometimes they get lost. And then uh, we'll just do a couple things. Uh, one, I'm going to use, basically when you create use dynamic paint, you create a paintbrush and you create a, pa a canvas. All right. So we're going to use this plane as the paintbrush, but even more specifically, we're going to use a particle system associated with the paintbrush with I mean with the plane and that will be our paintbrush alright so I'm gonna add a particle system here gotta just get this out of the way a thousand particles and we'll give it a little energy in the normal direction like this and I'll just rotate him a little bit on the uh, x-axis alright I'm moving over like this alright let's see if that actually is working so press alt A alright so it's working and let's uh, give it a little more energy All right. All right, and then I don't want it to be quite so wide, so I'll just press S and Shift Y. Then no matter at all, just scrunch them down in size a little bit like that. All right. So that'll be our paintbrush that we're going to be working with. In order to set that up, we need to go over here to the Physics button and press Dynamic Paint, and we'll just use the defaults. We we'll press that as our brush. So this is going to brush and add a brush, all right? And instead of it coming out of the mesh volume like this, we would use it out of the particle system associated with it. And we're going to select that particle system, which I didn't name, but it's called particle system. That's the default name for the particle system. All right, so that's, that's it for setting up the brush, okay? So then what we want to do, we want to take the output of the particles and when they land on the surface, we'll just use this default surface here. Let's, let's maybe move this surface up out of the way. Let me put the uh, let me so we don't see the grid floor like that. All right. So we're going to make the particles land on the surface and then paint on to the surface. So that will have to be our surface. All right. So we'll go back into dynamic paint with the plane selected, and that'll be our canvas. So we'll add canvas to the scene. Now notice it turns up dark like this, and that's because essentially there's nothing much to this plane except four vertices and the darkness kind of hints to me that that's the problem so I'm going to tab into edit mode and I will press W and I will subdivide it and I'll press W and I'll subdivide it again and again and again and again we even go again you need quite a few subdivisions to make this work because the particles are going to basically what they do is when they land they essentially change each one of these individual planes as you go along so if you only have a couple of planes you're not going to affect much all right so I'll tab out of that and now the surface looks like this kind of messes up my lighting a little bit but so move this light up and out of the way hmm and let's see let's turn that light color down just a little bit so I guess it's these spotlights that are really providing too much energy to the scene. Oh, they are. All right, so let me move those up and out of the way a little bit. All right, well, that's a little bit better so we can see. So we're going to paint on the surface. Let's see, back over here on the brush. Did I forget to give this a color? Maybe. Surface type. So we'll paint using the surface type. And initial color, none reddish orange there and then uh, well let's just run it let's just see what happens if we have it set up all right so we're gonna just press that and there it is it's actually painting in blue but then for the brush we want to set the brush the color of the brush and it's over in here somewhere the brush there it is right in front of my face okay so there's the color right there so we can change the color in the brush all right so now what we want to do is let's just change this a little bit I'll pause this don't need to pause it really actually R X I'll just rotate him there we're gonna make that a rotation keyframe so I rotation and then maybe up here at 220 I'll make it 
R V A yep R X and I'll rotate it, you know, up here about forty five degrees so it shoots out of like a maximum distance and I'll put I rotate like that. And then let's try it. Alt A. And you can see it's slowly rotating and the paint is slowly painting further down the line like this and you can also change the effects of what the brush does to the canvas and in this case let's go back to the canvas and what we were doing is just using a uh, paint surface but let's just use a displacement surface and see what happens and we'll just increase the displacement on that a little bit so you can see it so you can see what it's doing it actually is adding depth is kind of carving out a whole maybe that's how they do those earthquake effects on some of those sci-fi movies that you see on TV it's quite possible something similar to that you just add a lot more vertices uh, to your mesh maybe spread the particles out etc but I'll let you as artists and animators worry about those kind of details so dynamic paints really straightforward and this will help you get started and that's it for this lesson alright and I'll see you in the next lesson